Good evening, folks. We are back on some food delivery today, and I wanted to get out and do some tonight for three main reasons. Number one, it's the last working day of the month, which means it's payday for a hell of a lot of people. Number two, it's Halloween. It is the 31st of October, so I'm hoping there'll be a lot of people at home ordering takeaways tonight. And number three, it is miserable out there. We've got the great British weather joining us, and we all know when it's raining, people tend to stay home and order food in. They don't want to go out in this nasty weather. They don't even want to go to the shops. So they're straight on Deliveroo, straight on Uber Eats, earning us some money. So hopefully it's nice and busy, and we can keep a steady stream of orders going for the whole evening. I'm going to be out three, four hours, something like that. It's just coming up to five o'clock. I'm going to work until about between eight and nine. We'll see how it goes. And to help us out, we've got a 1.5 X boost from five till six and a 1.2 X boost from six till seven. And who knows, they might even throw a panic boost up there if it stays busy after that point. So I'm rowing to go, especially for this 1.5 X. I'm gonna wait until five o'clock to go online so I can immediately get on for that boost. The only slight issue is right now, it's showing not busy on Deliveroo, so that's not good, but hopefully it picks up soon. So I'm gonna wait until five o'clock, log in, and I'll see you for my first order. I started getting slightly worried, but 14 minutes in, we've had a good order come in. Morrison's, £7.89. It's going quite far away, but I reckon 10 minutes, 15 minutes max, and we'll have that dropped off. So we'll go ahead and accept that. And let's get into Morrison's. Luckily, I'm literally parked just outside of the Morrison's car park. So we'll just head around there and pick this one up. That's the one. God, I love supermarket pickups. So much easier than food delivery. Honestly, if I could just do shops all the time, I would. Okay, so Apple Maps is saying 15 minutes. I'm guessing we've got a little bit of rush hour traffic to get through, but that's fine. This one's paying almost eight quid, so more than happy to spend 15 minutes getting to the customer on this one. Yeah, I was getting a little bit worried when it was uh, showing not busy when I logged in at five and then didn't get an order for, well, 15 minutes pretty much. I guess five o'clock is still quite early for dinner time anyway, so we'll have to see how the evening goes. Obviously we've got that 1.5 boost until six, so I was hoping for a bit of a miracle, I think. But either way, yeah, 7 seven eighty nine or whatever this one was. It's a reasonably good start. I'm not sure there's gonna be many kids out trick-or-treating in this weather though, but if anything, that's good for me because hopefully more parents go, oh, never mind, we'll get a takeaway instead to try and ease their disappointed children. So we'll see, and yeah, there's the rush hour queuing around the roundabout. It was always gonna be the case as it draws into winter and it gets darker earlier, it's more likely to rain like it is now. Traffic unfortunately does get worse, but hopefully it won't be too long before the traffic starts to ease off a little bit. Generally around here, after sort of 6.30, it starts to get kind of back to normal levels and then by 7, 7.30, normally quite light by that point so we'll hope for the best and yeah hopefully tonight turns into a busy one we're just kind of heading into the winter period now so things should pick up naturally anyway in terms of order volume and i'd imagine delivery at this sort of time of year they do want to onboard a few more riders to get ready for the christmas period because as many of us will know november and december they are the best months for this job honestly last december i had days where i went out at eight in the morning finished at eight in the evening and it was literally busy the entire of the way through. This guy did not want to let him out. Is he going to give him a little bit of a... Oh yeah, he's stopping. <laughs> he nearly drove into the curb. Yeah, November, December, last year I had days honestly where it was busy from 8 a.m. until like 9 p.m. Just pretty much non-stop. Maybe dipped into moderate a few minutes here and there. But apart from that, it was literally busy the whole day. And I would love it if we could get something like that again this year. I'm gonna keep fighting through this traffic and let's get to our first customer of the night. The problem with working in the dark, can't see any bloody house numbers. Oh, look at that. Actually scares me a little bit.
think this is the right house. Oh, yeah, is this? Yes, it yeah, is. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. I like your decorations, by the way. What a sweet. I'll oh, go on then. Go for it. I'll have a lollipop. Thank you very much. Let's take the delivery code. Yeah, that body bag that you've got hanging up, <laughs> that freaked me out a bit. <laughs> Ta! Trick or treat us out. Right then, at least we're not, I'm not busy anymore. We're on moderate. I've got 13 minutes of this boost left, so I'm gonna get back, try and pick one more up before this boost is over. So, Deliveroo wasn't giving the goods. I switched on Uber, and within a couple of minutes, got myself an order from Co op. It's only paying just over four pounds, but it's a relatively short journey. And seeing as there's no guarantee of getting another order from Deliveroo before the boost ends, I thought I would provisionally accept this one. And then if Deliveroo does want to give me one last boosted order at the 1.5 before we get to the co-op, then I can always cancel this one. But for now, co-op it is. Oh, and by the way, guys, a little bit of news. I am going to be a dad. And actually, I'm going to be a dad very soon. So my first child was actually due today. And so far, she has not appeared. Yes, we're having a little girl and my girlfriend and I are super excited. When we learned that the due date was Halloween, we thought, oh Christ, imagine that Halloween baby. Wouldn't have minded it. In fact, I would have quite liked a baby born on Halloween. But so yeah, if the content slows down a little bit, uh, you know why. I am trying to get some videos filmed in advance so that when I'm at home, uh, I can I get a free hour or two, I can start editing them, but no promises. I'll do what I can, but first priority is obviously our new arrival and settling in to becoming parents. So I'll be taking at least a couple of weeks off of work. And thankfully, uh, Deliveroo and Uber both offer a new child payment through their rider insurance program. There are some criteria you have to meet, but I am well within those. So I think you get a thousand pounds from Deliveroo and 900 pounds from Uber. So those payments will be very helpful indeed. And actually, if anyone watching this has successfully claimed the new child payment before for themselves, I'd be interested in hearing from you. Did it go, did it go through quickly? Was it easy to claim? Did you have to wait ages for the money? Yeah, let me know if you've uh, if you've claimed that before. I'd be really interested in uh, hearing what you got to say about the experience of claiming it. But as soon as we've settled in and I'm back to work, we'll get right back into things and keep the content coming. Hi, mate. Bit a few minutes and we've got ourselves another co-op on uber again deliveroo being slightly disappointing tonight so far no, all right cheers bro. thank you right so this order is paying five pounds something we got five pounds ten or five pounds two one of those i'm going just over three miles surprising number of trick-or-treaters out i thought the rain would put people off but should have known there's no way that kids are going to accept a little bit of rain ruining their evening right let's crack on and get to this drop get back in and hopefully this evening starts to warm up a little bit Perfect, thank you. This really isn't what I need. Uber haven't thought through this new ID thing when you're in an area with poor signal. I've got two bars, but it just isn't loading. I'm trying to submit the information from the customer's ID and it just isn't going through. A minute ago, it just said something went wrong on our end. 
If we can't verify it, you'll be paid to return the order. It's too late, she's got it now. See, what's going on here? Couldn't verify ID, something went wrong on our end. Try again in a few minutes. I can only assume it's something to do with my signal. I'm just gonna have to drive back in a little bit and try and submit it again. There we go, we've got it, finally. Oh, right. Let's get back towards the center. We're almost two hours in now. And I'm still a few quid off of 20 quid. It's not good, it's really not good. There we go. Another co-op. It seems to be the only place that wants me tonight. But look, we might as well do it. Four pounds seven. That'll at least tip me over 20 quid. And it shouldn't be too long after seven. And hopefully then it picks up a little bit. Maybe I was overestimating how busy tonight was going to be. I mean, it is still a working day. And with it being payday, I think that's going to make more of a difference this Friday, to be honest, rather than tonight. So maybe I'll have to go out this Friday as well. If I'm not a dad by then, that is. Do yeah, no, I do YouTube. Let me up, Auto Hustles. Auto Hustles. Yeah, yeah, check it out. Cheers, mate. Shout out to co-op guy, if you're watching. So this order is literally just going up the road, up here on the left. But it's going to a, it's some kind of hospital. It's not like a prop hospital. I, I don't know if it's like, I think it's like a hospital for people with mental health needs. And we're getting another Uber come in now from Tesco, which I am not gonna do. Oh, and the co-op order's just gone everywhere. <laughs> the downside of these co-op deliveries is they're just in a little carrier bag and uh, one corner too quick and it will topple right over, which mine has done, luckily. Nothing in there that really matters if it comes out, so. I'll get it sorted and I think we've got to go through that entrance, but I'm gonna have to double check on the address. <laughs> I've got a delivery for Is that all right? Thanks a lot. Job done. Look at this, the co-op orders. They're just not stopping. Three pounds 49. And I know that address It is literally going down the road from co-op and we're already just down the road from co-op. So quick and easy, 3.49. It's 10 past seven. Oh, better switch that off. Maybe this order will uh, get me up to minimum wage after expenses, we'll see. Must be said, I have been declining a few orders, particularly earlier on when it was rush hour for places that are just absolutely impossible for me to get to and park without parking warden anxiety. So I just declined those. If they come up a bit later on, then I've got no problem going to them. But yeah, for now we are making our now, I think fourth trip to co-op. I mean, I don't mind it, but because of all these, I actually haven't done a single food delivery yet. It's just been groceries. Not that I'm complaining. I would quite happily just do co-op Morrisons all night long, to be honest. Um, we've got enough room to get in here. Like everyone wants to come to co-op tonight. Manic. All right, mate, me again. <laughs> I uh, got five, six, six, seven. Nice one. Thank you very much. Cheers, Cheers mate. Stick these in the back. Quick as you can, please. Stopped in the road. Got the delivery code. Ah, uh, five one. Five one. Perfect. Cheers, mate. So just pulled up round the corner after that delivery because I'm still really close to co-op. I thought that trend might continue, but Deliveroo's gone not busy, not busy at 20 past seven. What is going on? Let's get back on Uber. Trip's paused. Oh, come on, I've got signal. There we go. It's co-op again, but it is a different one. Still, I'll take that as Deliveroo certainly ain't gonna give us anything. Thanks a lot. Got it, sorry. That's all right, cheers. Good to see the staff getting into the Halloween spirit. Nice costume on. Oh, heavy bags, man. All right, this order is going one mile away, three minutes. 
So I feel like things have picked up a little bit, but I mean, I might as well have just signed up to work for co-op tonight and just been an employee. Because so far I've barely gone anywhere else apart from that single Morrison's delivery we did first. Literally been co-ops ever since. So now I'm two and a half hours into my little delivery stint and I haven't even got a thermal bag out of the boot. Again, not complaining. To be honest, this is how I wish the job was all the time because supermarkets and convenience stores pretty much always have your order ready the second you walk in. It just tends to be so much easier. Oh yeah, there's another bag. It's just started ripping. So I need to go and hold it with two hands, two sets. Yeah, these bloody bags. Here we go, do you like my mummy tail? Sorry? Do you like my mummy tail? I do indeed. Have a good one. Having a good time. Right, oh, look at that. Right, I've just taken a, a six pounds order for Donna and Giros. Giros, don't know how you say it. New kebab shop that's opened recently. And now I'm getting a second offer. It's heading to a similar area. Six pounds one. I don't like picking up from Hubbox. It's never ever ready on time. I might as well give it a go though. So altogether, this is gonna pay about 12 quid. And that should do wonders, hopefully, for my uh, my average rate at the end of this shift. A little bit suspicious why that's paying so much, because it isn't really much added distance at all. I wouldn't normally expect that to be paying six pounds extra to add that one on. The initial one, yeah, seems about right for six quid, because it's a fair distance, but that second one, the pickup is close to the first one and the customer is close to the first one, so I guess we'll find out. Yeah, it's 20 to eight. I think I've recovered slightly money-wise from the, uh, the bad first hour, but I'm not gonna check until the end. I'm just gonna wait and we'll see what money we've made when I've decided that I've had enough. And to be honest, I don't know if that's gonna be too long from now. My trusty pair of vans that I, uh, I wear to work have developed their first hole in the sole. Hole in the sole. So uh, right now, my socks are pretty moist and uh, it's not a great feeling, to be honest. But we'll see, we'll see how smoothly this one goes. If another delivery comes in straight away, yeah, I'll probably do it. See how I feel. That's the whole point of this job, right? If you're gonna be self-employed and do food delivery, you might as well take advantage of the fact you can finish when you want. We're in the Sainsbury's car park. This is the uh, this is the gaff just here. Donna and Giros. Giros. How do you say it? Somebody tell me, please. Now oh, we have a parking space. Lovely. Dead as a dodo in there, though. Nobody wants to be out tonight, unless they're trick or treating anyway. Gonna need a thermal bag. First time today. We've got a double, so I might as well take the big one. Number. Thank you. Thank you. Nice gaff this. Had one of their kebabs the other day. It was very good. Thank you. Cheers. Let's go to Hubbox and get this second order. So that was a nice quick pickup. I'm hoping it's going to be the same deal. That hub box. They do tend to be a bit slower though, so we're gonna have to hope for the best. Like I said though, six pounds extra. It's probably worth waiting, even if it is a 10 minute wait anyway. Traffic obviously much better now. It's been all right for the last hour or so, to be honest. This uh, rush hour died down pretty quick. Oh man, my right foot is absolutely soaked. Gonna need to go shoe shopping tomorrow. Oh yeah, thanks mate. Look at that. Can't ask for more than that. Ready straight away and friendly service to boot. Oh, this customer hasn't put their address. Just got a postcode, no house number. Gonna need to give them a ring. Oh, 
Why does the Uber app let people order without a full address? This happens so often on Uber. You just get a road name or you don't even get that. Like in this case, it's just the area and a postcode. A postcode's all right, but no good without a house number. Anyway, I shouldn't moan too much. So once I got these two drops done, that's 12 quid in the bag. And that second order is really not far from customer number one. So yeah, I guess just one of those high paying orders that you get lucky with. No massive delays or anything like that in the restaurants. And let's crack on to customer number one and then give them a call to see what their actual address is. Right, got that Donna and Geros dropped off. The customer very helpfully came out onto the road when I phoned him. Didn't have time to switch to my chesty cam for that one. I'm sure you'll forgive me. Anyway, we're four minutes away from securing the 12 pounds from this double that has gone surprisingly well. Given that we were picking up from a restaurant that is notoriously slow, I hate to say it, sorry Hubbox. And having a customer with an incomplete address on the app, yeah, it's gone all right. So we'll get this order done. See how busy it looks on the apps. See if we can get one more sneaky order in. If not, we'll just go straight to going through our earnings for the evening on this very wet Halloween payday. You know, obviously not been as busy as I would have liked. Would have been nice if uh, it was busy on Deliveroo and they had to put another boost on because those first couple of boosts didn't really bear me much fruit. But yeah, like I said, I think Tuesdays are, uh, even when they're payday, probably doesn't mean everyone's suddenly gonna order a takeaway on a Tuesday, so. It's a shame, but never mind. One day last year, I worked from 9 a.m. until 9 p.m. and just on food delivery, and I made 215 pounds. That was before expenses, before I did YouTube, so I wasn't really calculating my expenses after every shift, but still, even after expenses, that's a good day for delivering food. So I hope that can continue this year. All right, by the way. Enjoy. Thanks, Cheers, much. bud. Ta. There we go. There's the ticket. £12.10. Nice little result there. For what turned out to be a pretty straightforward double. We haven't got any more deliveries coming immediately in on Uber. Let's just pull over here for a second. Get on Deliveroo. What we are, moderate. I'll give it five minutes as I drive back uh, towards the centre. Uh, if we don't get anything in, we'll call it a night there, I think. And as I was just about to concede and pull over, finish for the night, Pizza Hut delivery comes in with a £6.18 order. It is going to uh, the other side of Taunton, but at this time, it will not take me long to get there. And uh, over £6 with no boost. Can't be turning down orders like that. So we might as well top off the evening with a £6-pounder on Deliveroo and uh, I will then most certainly finish up for the night because my God, do I need to get in and get these shoes and socks off. What does Uber want? One stop to the south? Nah, I'm done. I'm done Uber. I'm doing this and I'm going home. Hiya. Oh yeah, just delivery. Cold stuff here. Customers really appreciate it if you don't mix hot and cold, especially when it's ice cream. There we are, look at that. Two miles, seven minute drive. I was literally round the corner from Pizza Hut when the order came in. So that plus the pickup plus the drop off, 15 minutes. For over six quid would have been rude to turn that one down sometimes you just got to do one more order you know it's in you and you know you're gonna feel a little bit iffy if you go home you're like oh if i do one more i'm gonna feel good I feel like i've done a proper shift I am all right something there let's get your cold stuff Nice one. Have a good night, mate. Cheers. That's a wrap. Oh, 
That's it, my Halloween shift is over. I need to go and get out of these shoes. But before I do that, let's run down the numbers. We worked from five until half past eight, so three and a half hours. We made £17.56 on delivery, and we made £29.68 on Uber. Uber actually did us a solid tonight. Thank you, Uber Eats, for a total of £47.24 before expenses. We did 31.7 miles for a total fuel cost of £4.97. Insurance was £1.75. Net profit for the day, £40.52 for an hourly rate of £11.58. So not great for an evening shift, to be honest. That first hour, first hour and a bit, the first couple of hours really, uh, hurt us quite a lot, but it picked up a little bit after that. And then that £12 double probably saved us, I think as well as that six pound pizza delivery we just did. Yeah, 11.58 after expenses per hour, uh, it's fine. Uh, I'll take it, it's gone into the spreadsheet and I must say right now, I've got six food delivery shifts on there. I've got like 15 Morrisons and four Amazon Flex logistics shifts on there. And food delivery in terms of average hourly rate is by far the lowest. I don't know how that's gonna hold up as I do more of them and I do more Amazon blocks as well. But right now, both Amazon Flex Morrisons and Amazon Flex Logistics are smashing food delivery in terms of what gig work is the best to do in a car. So just food for thought. Obviously we need to do more shifts, more blocks to increase our sample size. But yeah, as it's looking right now, Amazon, they've got the lead. Guys, thanks for joining me on this very wet Halloween. It's been good to get back to some food delivery, although it wasn't the best shift. Again, kind of follows the pattern of how it has been lately for me. Definitely lacking in those busy hours, but hopefully things pick up soon as we get closer to Christmas. Thanks for watching as always, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care, peeps.